world by 2050, we will need to produce at least 60% more food. Productivity will have to increase significantly, while farmers will have to manage natural resources more efficiently and with minimal impact on the environment. The Weight Research Institute is being launched as the University of Adelaide response to this challenge. Following upon our conversation of the 30th of August last, I have now arranged to hand over to the University of Adelaide my Urbray House and Grounds, embracing an area of 134 acres, half of the land to be available for the University for Agricultural and Kindred Studies. We have now reached a point where it behooves us to call science to our aid to a greater extent than hitherto has been done. Otherwise, we can, I hope, to keep in the forefront. The University of Adelaide's Weight Research Institute represents the most powerful aggregation of grape and wine educational and research collaborators in the world of wine. The crops we grow and the livestock we produce become the food that we eat. Modern plant biology, based on enhanced understanding of plant genomes, is now big science. I'm keen to establish a centre for food chain innovation. This centre will lead Australia's research in this area. Australian Grain Technologies chose to base its head office at the Wake campus because of the critical mass of plant science research here. The Wake has a proven history of collaborative research and with new infrastructure such as the Plant Accelerator, it's well placed to be a global leader. The work we are doing here today will tomorrow affect the very fabric of people's lives all over the planet. The Weight Research Institute is being launched as the University of Adelaide response to this challenge. It will support new research that will underpin this sustained and sustainable intensification of production. Our research will cross traditional boundaries and will use the skills of our partners both locally, nationally and internationally. As director, I am greatly excited by the opportunities ahead.